this is going along with some of my spiritual videos but this is more of the reality of it so the spirits are more trying to do a toxic environment meaning that it's hard for you to focus so I'm gonna give some concrete ideas like you know textbook things to look for instead of just talking about the spirits so to determine if environment is not the best there are several behaviors you can look for this includes high level stress burnout among employees lean to frequent seek sickness and fatigue a narcissistic leadership where higher ups demand perfection from others while holding themselves to lower standards. Little to no enthusiasm or positivity among employees with lack of recognition or feedback. Poor communication, including a lack of necessary information and negative feedback. A high turnover rate, indicating a lack of job satisfaction and toxic work environment. And six, cliches gossips rumors indicating a lack of trust in genuine friendships among co-workers so additionally and if you find yourself experiencing symptoms such as sleeplessness a racing heartbeat or constant vigilance these may be signs of a toxic work environment it's important to regularly check in with yourself and to access your work and office environment to ensure that it's not negatively impacting your health and well-being so i gave this to see this is what the world might give you and you will have to dive deeper into why things are like this and so these spirits are why the environment is toxic right so these spirits are a reason or some 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 form of a influence into why things are to toxic you know um, of course of course somebody could have a bad day and, you know, they can just come in and they can be upset. Of course, that's the reason, you know. Of course, somebody can just have a miserable moment in life. But all that stuff comes from energy. And all what energy is comes from a spirit. It comes from something charged. It comes from something, a thought form. It comes from talking, emotion. All this stuff is spiritual. That's why you cannot get away from it. Because it all started from the root of, of God. So you can't get away with spiritual, even if I apply it in a sense... It's more of a perspective that is zoomed out. That's not really zoomed in. So like when I talk about these spirits, I'm zooming in. I'm zooming in on the inside, how we take place, how we value emotions. But zoomed out, they just accessing the reality of what is taking place in reality. So like uh, you see sickness and fatigue. And now with spirituality, you dig deeper. Why is it sickness and fatigue? It's because of you can't... Uh, get past this emotion maybe somebody's treating you bad like they say like you have a narcissistic leadership while higher ups you know they demand per perfection from others while they hold you at lower standards and this is like pharisees in a way pharisees they're you know they're at their high they're at their higher standards but you know they want everybody else to act holy when it's when it's time for them to act holy they don't want to do that you know they just they look at it as that's you know it, it's it's beneath them you know so it's the same thing with narcissistic leadership. All this stuff, it, it it's like, you know, it's, it's spirits. It's taking place in every day. But people are not aware, nor will they really realize until, you know, they step into this world of truth, of, of what the people have been talking about back in the day, all the, all the shamans and all this religion talking about the unseen world. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a truth to that that helps build your reality. It helps build you up. As a person, so you have to be aware of these spirits and and uh, of of the environment, the scenery, the things that's going on, and how how do you look inside the scenery? How do they view you? How do they take you inside your your scenery? What type of role they're trying to get you to play inside your scenery? What's your role in in, in today's stage? You know, uh, so let's look at. Um, as, let's really look at the cliches and gossips and rumors Because um, I noticed this Like going to a workplace if, if people are constantly gossiping and rumoring It is not going to be a fun time Like it's, I, it, you, mean, you know you might get your hee hees and highs But 
people are, are going to fight. They're going to pick at each other. They're going to try to, you know, devalue each other. And it's, it's weird. Like, I remember coming from this cook job, and this this this, this woman has a boyfriend. She's trying to talk to me. Now, I'm, I'm not really on it. So, I'm, I'm just giving, like, the... the uh, the informal me. I'm just giving a basic yeah, no, okay, and like just cut straight. And they sitting here getting mad with me. He's like, because I'm I'm trying to cut straight through all the BS and just give them what they need, right? But they want they want the the emotional side and they want the to just attention in general. That's that's all it is. And so that just led to me really thinking of like, man, what the these people already got boyfriends they already got you something that they and so why is they trying to come on to me like and that's something i genuinely don't like when i like i don't i don't like it in myself because i'm a very uh loyal person i guess jealous is the is the is the best way to say it but it's not a jealous like i'm gonna hurt you but it's like i don't like when nobody is you know it's like that's that's just not me so yeah, I ain't trying to shame nobody else who like that, but that's just not me. I can't do all that, that uh, what the world be doing today. So, uh, it is. What, what was I getting at? What was I getting at? What was my ankle? The gossip. That's that's what threw the job off. You know, the gossip because, you know, you, you get rushed and they make it unprofessional and make it seem like it's not really. A job of a place of work. It just seemed like it's a, a home, right? A dysfunctional home, and and is you know you gotta yell at people to do things, and it's not really set in order. Things are not communi- really communicated properly, and so this leads to, to bad product. This leads to, to 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 bad to bad interaction with the customers because ain't nobody focused on, uh, uh the environment, you know. And, and actually, it, it being a clear environment, clean environment, because that's how business thrives. It, it, it thrives off the, the clearness of mind, you know? And that's what we all try to achieve to do anything. We need a clear mind. And so, if, yeah, and so it, it's, we, we need it. We need to clear our minds, to have a clear mind, to focus. You know, we can't be focused on, on um, you know, on, 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 on things that's not pertaining towards the business, you know? Um, let me see. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So it's it's the same thing with with God necessarily. You know, God is saying, keep half faith, have faith in me. You know, why is you focusing on what they doing or what they said to you? Have faith that you know I can heal them up. I can't change them. Uh, how you need to have faith in me? Why is you focus on, on all this other stuff that these people are trying to talk to you? It's the same thing. So, business and God, they all work. It all works together. You know all this, all this stuff that God wants you. To, he wants you to have money, right? He wants you to, he wants you to look good. He wants you to feel good. So it all works together. We have to listen, right? And that's the key thing. And we have to be aware of the environment that we're putting ourselves into. Like, if I know this person ain't going to talk the best to me, maybe I should put myself around this person that much, you know? Maybe maybe I should probably come at them in a way that they can't come at me like they, you know, they crazy. Maybe, like, like I have to sit here and think about ways to change my dialogue so I can get a different result, you know, or a different way to approach, you know? And so this is, this is how you are going to tackle these spirits, these cliches in your environment. You have to... Be on your toes. You have to think. You have to, most importantly, hold on to God. Follow God and trust in God and have faith that he is going to put you through a situation that you have encountered, you know? And we have to stay disciplined. We have to stay diligent. And we have to do this every day. It's an everyday thing. And that's something I truly have to get uh, right, you know, with God. It's an everyday thing. I have to keep pushing. I have to keep showing my face. I have to keep, keep talking, keep getting up. And I have to keep speaking life into myself and planting these seeds because, um, you know, it's a harvest. And once you harvest, you, you feed the benefits. You can't get comfortable and don't plant no more seeds because you, you got the next season to, to, to harvest again, you know. So you have to do that. You have to plant again. You have to keep going. 
And this is this is you know, and sometimes a harvest may look like every day, you know, and that's that comes with the the just feeling good about yourself. You have to plant seeds to feel good about yourself. All this stuff, you have to look at it spiritually. Like what really started help, like what's really helped me now is I have to look at these things that people are talking about. Look at it spiritually. Look at it in a three D realm. Like look at it in your mind and visualize it, right? And I have to. Vietnam. This is where people get labeled mental illness because some people go too far and if you're not really studying with with god and and you lead astray you you know then them attacks come you know because I, I i can see how people drift off into thinking that they're crazy it's because of um uh, see i i can't really say that to the fullest extent but i can say from what i feel and from what i see in my mind and how i know thoughts approach me right so um I just know feelings are intense and some feelings will come with thoughts that are crazy and if you continue to uh, uh, plan that thought, expand that thought, it's going to become even wilder unless you figure out a way to make it positive and once you make it positive, you forget about it and you, oh, what's the next thing? It's like, I don't know, uh, I, I, I think eventually it gets to a point where you are actually like a child in faith. You know, it's like candy. You know, it's like, oh, this is candy. Somebody's giving me more candy to, to eat and to grow and to be joyous about, you know, because you're actually, everything that's coming towards you, you see it as a reason to have more faith. You know, you see it as a reason to, 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 to build that brick the next day. You see it as a reason to, yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I, I gotta have faith. You know, it's like, because these things are not for, you know, and so this is what God, he calls us to be a child, childlike, have childlike faith, to just believe in him, like, because he is our father, you know? And so, um, yeah, I'm just trying to show the contrast between, you know, what the world might give you and say, okay, this is a toxic environment. And this is from what a spiritualist might give you and saying this is a toxic environment, you know? And, they, and how, you know, they might, one might say this is the spirit because you see that spirit operating in that person and that leads to that. And you go from the world and they say it's the environment. And they say, well, we have this toxic environment because of poor communication and lack of trust and lack of uh, uh, of, of uh, genuine friendships or it's too much gossip, it's too much uh, uh, talk, it's too much gapping. And they might say things like that. But then you break, like, in a spiritual side, you're going to break it down to why it's too much talking. Oh, this person's talking too much because they're insecure of, of, of you know, so-and-so and this. Or this person is, you know, probably this person is um, a, a really promiscuous in an office because of of their husband is cheating back at home or something like that. And and so you just, you, just, you know, can really figure it out with these tools in, in itself. So, um... Hmm. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna leave it off at that. Uh, if you haven't already, please leave a like, subscribe, share, join my Discord. I'm most definitely getting a uh, big community going together. You know, uh, mainly, bro. I'll be building this mindset to fight. You know, to just fight. Uh, all the negativity. We turn it to positive. Transmute. So if you don't even want to think it's a fight, it's not a fight. You know, you probably just you just cleaning the pipes out. That's all it is. You just cleaning the pipes out. Um, uh, yeah. So I see y'all. Y'all take care.